Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to you all. 72 years ago, on the 14th of September in 1935, Reverend Lionel Bradbury laid the foundation stone here to this striking building in front of an excited, committed group of parishioners. The church became known as the Congregational Church here at Torrensville, and it continued to celebrate births, deaths, and marriages for some 72 years, in fact, until its closure in early 2003. So we are today indeed standing on hallowed ground, where the celebration of life is about to take on a new form. Welcome one and all to the advertised auction here, the auction sale of 31A Carlton Parade at Torrensville. My name is Phil Rogers, your auctioneer, and I'm very proud to represent my company, Century 21 Real Estate, The Bay. Our office situated at number one Partridge Street at Glenelg. We're very proud to be members of the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, SA Incorporated, and of course the Real Estate Institute of South Australia. It is a great honour to be here today to represent our vendor, and I congratulate him on such a divine presentation. A product of inspiration, a product of vision, passion, and a product of, over and above of commitment. To the astute buyers who've joined us yet again, we welcome you. Thank you for your bidding registration. It's not too late to register, folks. If you've rolled up late, we do encourage your bidding. Thank you very much. We've made some wonderful friends over the four, four, last four weeks. Sadly, there can only be one lucky purchaser here this afternoon. So again, we thank you for your uh, interest in the last four weeks. To friends and neighbours, and I understand one or two elderly parishioners from the old congregation, welcome to you too, because you bear witness to what is about to take place here in just the next few minutes or so. In legal terms, the property is described as Lot 1 on Community Plan 22743. It's in the area named Torrensville. It's in the 100 of Adelaide. And you're bidding and buying here this afternoon the whole of the land contained in Certificate of Title, Register Book Volume 5935 and Folio 15. Now, we're offering the property today subject to the standard auction conditions of sale. These have been on site here for the last 30 minutes or so and available in our office for your perusal for the last three business days. These conditions and terms are laid out by the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, SA Incorporated. We've had on display for your perusal a copy of the Form 1, Section 7 statements, the contract note indeed, the certificate of title and all the approvals for all the fabulous work that's been done here for the last two business, for the last two years I should say. So in all, ladies and gentlemen, all the information required for you to make a safe, confident purchase is at your disposal here this afternoon. Are there any questions at this point, can I ask? Yes, sir. Um, I'm presuming this building can be used as both an office and as a residence. Is the property being sold on a GST inclusive or exclusive basis as I'm a company and I wish to uh, apply the margin scheme? Thank you very much. A copy of the zoning regulations have been on display for the last three business days and they've been available for you at Council. The Home Office aspect, I cannot give you a definitive answer on that, but we do and we have urged people to make their own inquiries at Council. I notice that one or two of the people that have made those inquiries are here today, so I can uh, say to you that you need to make your own decision on that one. GST inclusive, the contract will be inclusive of GST. Thank you. Are there any other questions at this point, ladies? Yes, Mr. Optioneer. I'm being bidding on behalf of my parents who are currently in Brisbane. Um, I don't want to sign the contract. They'll be back on Monday and they're happy to sign then. Is that okay with you? 
Thank you for your question, sir, and a very topical one indeed today. Uh, let me say to you, I will be formalising this particular aspect of the terms and conditions. If you're here to bid on someone else's behalf, you'll need to provide written evidence to me of your authorisation prior to commencement of the proceedings in a minute or two, or you'll be required to sign a contract as your name, in your name, as a nominee contract. Thank you. You need to be very clear on that aspect, if I may say. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, some important terms and conditions that I'll highlight for you at this point. We're selling here today, of course, on a cash, unconditional basis. The highest bidder, subject to reaching or exceeding the reserve price, will be the purchaser here this afternoon. I make three calls and three calls only. I'm not going to announce we're on the market. I'm not going to say when we're sold. There'll be no disclosure of reserve price. When the gavel comes down for the third and final time, the sale will be final and absolute. As purchaser, you will be required to step forward at this time and sign a contract note. You'll also be required to pay a deposit of 10% of the purchase price. The balance of settlement will be paid at settlement in 30 days' time by cash or by bank cheque, and this date has been set for Monday the 18th of June. Now, there have been three variations to both terms and conditions. I'm not going to name you here. You have authority from us that you may bid in confidence knowing that those variations will in fact be honoured by the vendor. In the event of a disputed bid, and I certainly hope we don't have one here this afternoon, as the auctioneer I have the sole right to adjudicate and any decision that I make in that event will be final and binding on all parties. Again, I'll just restate, if you're here to bid on someone else's behalf, we certainly welcome that uh, bidding, but unless you've been authorised in writing and handed that in to us prior to, you'll be required to sign the contract note as a nominee contract. Thank you very much. The vendor may bid amounts up to, but not exceeding, the reserve price. Now, those bids will be made very clearly and indicated so by myself as auctioneer as vendor bids. I may use them on one or more occasion. If I choose to do so, there will be no confusion. Those bids will be from myself and myself only on behalf of the vendor. Furthermore, the vendor has instructed me that should we pass the property in or hold it over this afternoon, I've been instructed to negotiate with the last and highest bidder recorded on our bidding sheet and I may choose to negotiate with that party behind closed doors. Should that party not wish to continue the negotiation, I'm at liberty to negotiate with any other registered bidder or, in fact, interested party. We have encouraged the registration forms, the bidder's registration forms. It's not too late. If you do uh, wish to bid, you may do so at this point, but you will be required to complete a registration form on completion of the proceedings. Finally, course five of the contract note states that you have an insurable, equitable interest in the property from the time of signing the contract. We make a telephone available to you. I think there's no shortage of those today. Ring your broker or your agent, ladies and gentlemen, thus protecting this valuable asset. And again, I'll ask, are there any questions at this point? The inclusions and exclusions. The inclusions are straightforward, all fixed floor coverings, the light fittings, all fixed furniture, window treatments, and of course that fabulous water feature to the rear of the atrium. The exclusions are the vendor's own personal furniture and effects, the theatre screen, if you will note, of course, and the projection unit in the family room, plus the potted plants in the rear and the side courtyards. Ghostly silence should I say, ladies and gentlemen, in anticipation of a very hallowed event indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, number 31A, Carlton Parade, it may be described as a gift from heaven. The current owner, our vendor, purchased the site as a whole just a short time ago and literally, at this time, split the congregation in two. But for all the right reasons, creating two separate residences on community titles. Now, very clearly, we're offering one residence here today. The residence, of course, I'm talking about is number 31A on my left or on your right. The common or shared areas of the dwellings now include the walkway from the front of the road up to the front door and, of course, the front foyer area. And what a blessing. Our vendor, a qualified, renowned architect designer, 